Soy un pastor allá en Texas. We travel. We travel all over Mexico. Viajamos por todo México. Preaching the gospel. Predicando el evangelio. Special thank you to your pastor. Gracias, pastor. Yes. And we're just gonna believe that Jesus is here tonight. Vamos a creer que Jesús está aquí. And you may be seated. Se pueden sentar. Yes. Thank the pastor so much for the open door. Gracias, pastor, por abrir la puerta. Yes. Yes. Uh, praise God. Gloria a Dios. Uh, we, uh, we believe that we're living in the last days. Creemos que vivimos en los últimos días. Does, does anybody here believe that? ¿Cuántos aquí creen eso? And that Jesus is coming for his people. Jesús viene por su gente. So the Bible says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. La Biblia dice, ir a todo el mundo, predicar el evangelio a toda criatura. I've had the privilege of preaching the gospel all over the world. He tenido el privilegio de predicar en todo el mundo. But we come tonight as your brothers and sisters. Venimos hoy como sus hermanos. To encourage the brother. A animar los hermanos. We uh, travel as a healing ministry. Viajamos como un ministerio de sanidad. We pray for sick people. Oramos por los enfermos. God has given us many miracles in your country. Dios nos ha dado muchos milagros en su país. We've seen the blind eyes open, the deaf ears open. Hemos visto a los ciegos ver, a los sordos oír. Every kind of sickness. Todo tipo de enfermedad sanar. But the number one thing is to get people saved before Jesus comes. Pero la el número uno es hacer que alguien se salve. And the Bible says to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. La Biblia dice ir a todo el mundo y predicar el evangelio a toda criatura. So, anyone here tonight need prayer? Alguien aquí en esta noche necesita oración? Anybody need a miracle? Anybody need a miracle? ¿Alguno necesita un milagro? We see many healings, many miracles in our crusades. Hemos visto muchas sanidades, milagros en nuestras campañas. So I want to encourage anyone that might need healing in their body tonight. Así que animo a cualquiera que pueda necesitar salud en su cuerpo hoy. To believe God. Le crea a Dios. Jesus said, "If you can only believe." Jesús dijo, si solamente puedes creer. You will see the glory of God. Verás la gloria de Dios. Amen. 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 So it's good to be with you tonight. Así que bueno estar aquí con ustedes. I, I might be American and you Mexican, but we are brothers and sisters in the Lord. Yo puedo ser americano y usted mexicano, pero somos hermanos en el Señor. We love your country. Amamos su país. Especially your food. Especialmente la comida. We love tortillas and beans and <laughs> 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 No, I can't speak Spanish. Yo puedo hablar español. I can say tortilla. Puedo decir tortilla. Pajitas. Pajitas. Micheladas. But no más, no más de español. <laughs> so this, this is our uh, uh, baño, baño. But uh, this is Alfredo. He's my Mexican voice, my Spanish voice. Este se llama Alfredo. Es mi voz en español. I've been preaching in I've been preaching in your country for eight years. He estado predicando en México ocho años ya. I, I used to travel all over the U.S. doing uh, prophetic conferences. Viajaba por Estados Unidos haciendo conferencias sobre profecía. But the Lord directed me to Mexico. 
Pero Dios me mandó a the results have been amazing. We have traveled thousands of miles in your country. And we have seen every kind of miracle. I believe God is a God of miracles. Amen. Amen. And if we believe, we might see a miracle tonight. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Wherever God is, there are miracles. Wherever God is, there's life. Turn with me in your Bibles. Busque en su Biblia. To the Gospel of John. El Evangelio de San Juan. Chapter 14. Capítulo 14. The Word of God is powerful. La Palabra de Dios poderosa. It's the most powerful thing in the world. Es lo más poderoso que hay en el mundo. Turn with me to John's Gospel, chapter 14. Juan, Evangelio de San Juan, capítulo 14, verse 19. Verso 19. It says, Yet a little while in the world seeth me no more, but you see me. Todavía un poco y el mundo no me verá más, pero vosotros me veréis. May God add his blessing to the reading of his word. The word is powerful. La palabra es poderosa. Now Jesus says before he goes away, in a little while the world will see me no more. Jesús dice antes de irse, dentro de poco el mundo ya no me verá. But he said, you will see me. Pero ustedes me verán. And then in verse 17, he says, for I will be with you and in you. Y en el verso 17 dice, porque estaré con ustedes y en ustedes. Amen. Jesus said, the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Who will see me? Jesús dijo, el mundo ya no me verá, pero ustedes me verán. ¿Quién me verá? See the world, the world cannot see Jesus. El mundo no puede ver a Jesús. When Jesus was in the world, the world could not see him. Cuando Jesús estaba en el mundo, el mundo no lo pudo ver. They just saw another man. Ellos solo veían a otro hombre. When they looked at Jesus, they did not know they were looking at the Son of God. Cuando veían a Jesús, no sabían que estaban viendo al Hijo de Dios. Why? Because God hides himself. ¿Por qué? Porque Dios se oculta. Jesus said, Father, I thank you that you hid these things from the wise and the prudent and Jesús, you revealed them to babes. Jesús dijo, Padre, te doy gracias porque has escondido estas cosas de los sabios y los prudentes y las has revelado a los bebés. The Bible says God hides himself. La Biblia dice que Dios se oculta. Only those that he reveals him to, himself to, only they can see him. Y solamente aquellos a quienes él se revela, lo pueden ver. So the only way you can see Jesus tonight, así que la única manera de que tú veas a Jesús esta noche, he must open your eyes. Es que él abra tus ojos. If Jesus doesn't open your eyes, you cannot see him. Si Jesús no te abre los ojos, tú no puedes ver. Now, I'm going to be with you one service. Yo voy a estar aquí nada más hoy. Listen very carefully to what I say. Y escuche bien lo que voy a decir. Now, my Bible says where any two or three gather together in the name of Jesus, he is there. 
Mi Biblia dice que donde dos o tres se reúnen en el nombre de Jesús, Él está ahí. Amén. 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 Tu Biblia dice eso. Amén. ¿Cómo te llamas? Abigail. Abigail. Es un muy buen nombre. Muy buen nombre. So are your parents here, Abigail? Están tus papás aquí, Abigail. Who are your parents? ¿Quiénes son? You love Jesus, Abigail? Amas a Jesús, Abigail. You do? No. Sí. Can you see Jesus here? ¿Puedes ver a Jesús aquí? She said she can't see Jesus. Dice que no puede ver a Jesús. What did Jesus mean? He says, I'm going away. The world will see me no more, but you will see me. What did he mean? ¿Qué quiere decir Jesús? El mundo, me voy, el mundo ya no me verá, pero ustedes me verán. ¿Qué quiere decir? What did he mean, Abigail? ¿Qué quiere decir, Abigail? He said the believers will see him. What did he mean? Dijo que los creyentes le verán. ¿Qué quiere decir? See, he said the believers would see him with eyes of faith. Lo que él ha dicho es que los creyentes verán con los ojos de la fe. See, when he was in the New Testament, when he was walking around Jerusalem, the world, he said they could see him. Cuando él caminaba alrededor de Jerusalén, dice que el mundo no lo podía ver. But he said, I'm going away. Luego dice, me voy. And the world will see me no more. Y ya el mundo no me verá. But he said, you will see me. Pero, pero ustedes me verán. He told his disciples, you will see me. Le dijo a los discípulos, ustedes me verán. Now, you have to see Jesus. Ahora, tú tienes que ver a Jesús. Now, I quoted you the scripture where Jesus said, where two or three gather in my name, I will be there. Te mencioné la Biblia donde dice, donde dos o tres se reúnen en mi nombre, yo estaré ahí. Abigail, what would you do if Jesus appeared right here? Abigail, ¿tú qué harías si, si Jesús se apareciera aquí? She would fall before him. She said she would fall before him. Dice me, apostra, me apostraría delante de él. I was preaching in, uh, in San Luis and I asked the woman What would you do if Jesus appeared right here? She said, I think I would die. And I told her, that just means you don't believe Jesus is here. Ask him if they're Pentecostal. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you would fall down and worship them? Así que tú te postrarías delante de él o adorarías. That's a very good answer. Esa es una respuesta muy buena, Abigail. Well, Abigail, he is here, but you can sit down. Abigail, tú puedes sentar, pero Jesús está aquí. See, if we really believe
believe that Jesus is here, it changes our church. Si realmente creemos que Jesús está aquí, eso cambia. It changes the way we worship. Cambia nuestra manera de adorar. King David said, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. El rey David dijo, entraré por sus puertas con acción de gracia. I will enter his courts with praise. Por sus atrios con alabanza. Hallelujah. Now I know he's here because I'm here. Yo sé que él está aquí porque yo estoy. And you can believe what you want to believe. Y usted puede creer lo que usted quiera. Only those that believe can see him. Solamente aquellos que creen lo pueden ver. Those that don't believe can see him. Los que no creen no lo pueden ver. Because Jesus has all authority. So he gave authority to his disciples. Turn in your Bibles to Luke 10, chapter 10. Chapter 10, verse 19. The word of God is powerful. La palabra de Dios poderosa. Gloria a Dios. Are you there? Say amen. Amen. So, 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 pastor, stand and read that verse. Pastor, por favor, póngase de pie y lea eso. Very loud, very loud. Con voz fuerte. He says, he gave his disciples authority over Satan. Why did he give his disciples authority over Satan? Why? He told them to go and demonstrate that authority to the world. Para que fueran a demostrar esa autoridad al mundo. Why? ¿Por qué? That the world might believe that there's a God that lives. Para que el mundo pueda creer que hay un Dios que vive. Wherever God is, there's life. Donde quiera que está Dios, hay vida. There's, church, there's churches to 
day that preach that God does not do those things anymore. Hay iglesias que predican hoy que Dios ya no hace milagros. But my Bible says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Pero mi Biblia dice que Jesucristo es el mismo de ayer, de hoy, de por los siglos. Now, Nicodemus was 
one of the leading pastors in Jerusalem. Nicodemo era uno de los pastores principales en Jerusalén. He came to Jesus at night in fear of the Jews. Se acercó a Jesús de noche porque tenía temor de los judíos. And he told Jesus, he said, Sir, I know you're a man sent from God because no man can do these miracles unless God is with him. Y le dijo a Jesús, Sabemos que tú vienes de Dios porque nadie puede hacer lo que tú haces si no es Dios con él. Nicodemus is a very smart man. Nicodemus era un hombre muy inteligente. Now I cannot do miracles. Yo no puedo hacer milagros. But I know a man who can. Pero conozco a un hombre que sí puede. Aleluya. Dios. Aleluya. Gloria a Dios. In our meetings, most everyone that comes for healing is healed by the power of God. En nuestras reuniones, casi todos los que vienen por sanidad son santos. Almost every single person is healed. Casi toda la gente es sanada. And I cannot heal anyone. Y yo no puedo sanar a nadie. I could not even heal a little bug if I wanted to. Yo no puedo sanarme a un insecto si quisiera. No man can heal. Nadie puede sanar. We have the best doctors in Houston, Texas, in all the world. Tenemos a los mejores doctores del mundo allá en Houston. We have the best cancer doctors. We have the best heart doctors. Tenemos a los mejores médicos del corazón, a los mejores médicos We have the best de children's doctors. Los mejores médicos pediatras. But not one of those men can heal you. Pero ni uno de esos hombres te puede sanar. If you took your, if you took your child to the doctor and said, doctor, please heal my child. Si usted agarraba a su hijo y lo llevara con esos doctores y dijera, quiero que sane a mi hijo. He would say, sir, I cannot heal your child. Él le diría, yo no puedo sanar a su hijo. But we can give you a certain medicine. Pero le podemos dar una receta. That's been very effective against this disease. Que ha sido mucha, uh, muy efectiva contra esa enfermedad. So take this medicine and come back in a week. Así que tomes esa medicina y regrese en una semana. A correr otra vez. But he cannot heal you. Pero no te puedes amar. Doctors are very good. Los doctores son buenos. They're the mercy of God. Tienen la misericordia de Dios. But only one man can heal. Pero solo un hombre puede amar. It's the man Christ Jesus. Es el hombre Cristo Jesús. The, the one that you said was standing here tonight. El que usted ha dicho que está aquí esta noche. I have seen hundreds, if not thousands, of miracles in my lifetime. He visto cientos y tal vez hasta miles de milagros en mi vida. I believe that everyone that I pray for is going to be healed. Yo creo que todos los la gente con la por la que voy a orar van a sanar. Gloria a Dios, Gloria a Dios, Gloria a Dios. So I am a witness. Así que soy testigo. John the Baptist says, "I'm not that light." Juan Bautista dijo, "Yo no soy esa luz." But I'm here to bear witness of that light. Pero estoy aquí como testigo de esa luz. I'm not that light, but I'm here to give testimony of what that light does. Yo no soy esa luz, pero estoy aquí para dar testimonio de lo que esa luz puede hacer. I have seen him open the blind eyes. Lo he visto abrir los ojos a los ciegos. I was, I was preaching in a very large church in your city. Estaba predicando en una iglesia muy grande aquí en Monterrey. Maybe 600 people. 600 gente es lo mejor a mí. And I was doing a healing service. Estaba orando por los enfermos. And there were so many people that wanted prayer. I said, only give me a few people. 
eh, había tanta gente que quería oración que le dije so, solamente traen unos cuantos Because I want to demonstrate the power of God. Porque quiero que se demuestre el poder de Dios. So we had some people come to the front for prayer. Así que tuvimos gente que vino al frente para oración. I maybe prayed for 12 people. A lo mejor oré por 12. God healed all of the 12 people. Dios sanó los 12. Dios sanó. And I had a woman bringing her daughter to me. Y había una mujer que me trajo a su hija. She was crying. Y lloraba. She was telling my translator, would he please pray for my daughter? Y le estaba diciendo al que interpretaba, quiere por favor orar por mi hija. I said, Mel, what's the matter with your daughter? Y yo dije, ¿qué le pasa a su hija? She said, sir, she's deaf. She was born deaf. Dijo, está sorda, nació sorda. She said the doctors have been able to do nothing. Los doctores no han podido hacer nada. They operated on her ears. Hasta operar los oídos. No results. Y no hubo resultado. I said, how old is your daughter? Y yo le pregunté, ¿qué edad tiene su hija? She said, she's 23 years old. Ella dijo, tiene 23 años de edad. I said, she can hear nothing. Y pregunté, no oye nada. She said, she can hear nothing. I said, do you believe if I pray for her that God will open her ears? She says, I believe. I said, well, I can help you then. I said, did you see all of these people heal just now? She said, yes, I did. Entonces yo le pregunté, ¿vio a toda esta gente que le sanó ahorita? Dijo sí. I said it's no different than your daughter. Yo le dije, pues no hay diferencia con su hija. It's the same thing. Dios, la misma fe. I said you believe. Le pregunto. She said I believe. Ya le entré. I said everybody believe with me. Entonces me pedí a todos los que estaban ahí, todos creen conmigo. Now my Bible says, where any two shall agree together. Mi Biblia dice, donde dos se ponen de acuerdo. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. More than two. Hay más de dos. If you got more than two believers in anything can happen, brother. Si hay más de dos creyentes, cualquier cosa puede pasar. Jesús dijo, de hecho, que si nada más hay un creyente, se puede mover una montaña, ese es el de la silla. Así que volteé a la muchacha viendo hacia la gente. I have all this on video. Esto está grabado en un video. I rebuked the deaf spirit. Reprendí al espíritu de sordera. Nothing. No pasó nada. <laughs> you know, Jesus prayed for one man that was blind three times. Jesús oró por un hombre que estaba ciego tres veces. Son bautistas presbiterianos. Los presbiterianos pretenden algo, pero no. But I knew that God was about to open the ears. Pero yo sabía que Dios iba a abrir los oídos. Aleluya. Pray the second time. Oré la segunda vez. I began to get behind her and I made noises. Me puse atrás de ella y comencé a hacer ruidos. She said, Yes. Y ella dijo, Sí. Yes. Sí. Her 
ears opened and she could hear perfectly. Los oídos se abrieron, ella podía oír perfectamente. Gloria a Dios. She was born deaf. Nació sorda. Aleluya. Had never heard anything in all of her life. Nunca había oído nada en toda la vida. For the first time she could hear her mama's voice. Por primera vez podía oír la voz de la mamá. Hallelujah. Do you believe he can open the deaf ear? Ustedes creen que Dios puede abrir los oídos? Do you believe he's here? Ustedes creen que él está aquí? So, Abigail, if Jesus demonstrated his power, what would you do? Abigail, si Dios demuestra su poder, ¿qué vas a hacer? You love Jesus? How old are you? How old are you? She will read 14. So would you like Jesus to use you? Quisieras que Jesús usara tu vida? Amen, I believe you have a very good heart. Tienes un muy buen corazón. Venga, por favor. Now, we're going to demonstrate God's power. Vamos a mostrar el poder de Dios. She said she was in pain. Ella dijo que tenía dolor. Where's your pain now? ¿Dónde está? Aquí. Búsquelo bien. Touch Jesus, you have to see him. Pero antes de tocar a Jesús, lo tienes que ver. 
It says, Jesus told his disciples, who touched me? Dice que Jesús preguntó a los discípulos, ¿quién me tocó? They said, Master, everyone is touching you, they're pushing you. And... Dijeron, Maestro, todos te quieren tocar, te empujan, y preguntas, ¿quién me tocó? He says, no. Él dijo, no. Somebody touched me. Alguien me tocó. Hallelujah. And he turned. Y volteó. And this woman says, y esta mujer dijo, I touched you. Says so when she touched Jesus, the issue of her blood immediately stopped. Listen to what Jesus said. He said, Woman, your faith has made you whole. Mujer, tu fe te ha hecho so where's your husband? ¿Dónde está el esposo? He's coming over, but he's taking long. I see that you're praying for your husband and God's going to do a work in your husband's heart. Yo veo que usted está orando por su esposo y Dios va a hacer un trabajo en el corazón de él. And the enemy is trying to destroy, but he always tries to destroy. El enemigo ha tratado de destruir, pero siempre anda tratando eso. But the Lord, he gives life. Pero Dios da vida. And life more abundantly. So the burden that you've had there, God's going to take that burden away and He's going to heal your marriage and your family. Go your way, your faith has made you know. Because they were shouting and hollering very loud. Y 
pegaban de gritos y de derribos muy alto. You don't have to holler or shout at the devil, you just have to have faith, you just have to believe. No, al diablo no tienes que gritarle ni patalearlo, solo tienes que tener fe. Tienes que creer. He knows if the devil knows if you believe or if you don't believe. El diablo sabe que si crees o no crees. So I preached on faith because faith comes by hearing the word of God. Yo prediqué fe porque la fe viene por oír la palabra de Dios. So I said, now we're going to demonstrate the power of God. So I said, I hadn't met the demon possessed man. So I said, bring me the demon possessed man. So they got the man and they were leading him by the hand. I didn't know the demon possessed man was blind too. Se traen al hombre y lo traen de la mano. Yo no sabía que el hombre estaba también ciego. The demon possessed man was blind. El demoniado estaba ciego. So they led him to the front. Así que lo trajeron hasta el frente. Out of maybe 100 people, there was only one person that came for prayer. De todas aquellas gentes, como 100 gentes, vino uno al recibir oración and he was demon possessed and blind y estaba poseído del demonio y ciego so I was preaching about demonstrating the power of God así que yo estaba predicando de demostrar el poder de Dios I've had pastors ask me how can you have so much confidence to say someone's going to be healed ha habido pastores que me preguntan cómo puede usted tener la confianza de que alguien va a sanar I tell them because my confidence is in the Lord. Yo les digo porque mi confianza está en el Señor. Dios I have no confidence in myself. En mí yo no tengo confianza. My confidence is in the Lord. Mi confianza está en el Señor. And John writes, this is the confidence we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. If I escribe diciendo y esta es la confianza que tenemos en el Señor que si pedimos algo conforme a su voluntad Él nos oye and we know that if He hears us He gives us the petition we ask of Him y sabemos que si nos oye tenemos la petición que le hemos hecho ya so my confidence is in Him Así que la confianza está puesta en él. You believe we can have confidence in him? ¿Usted cree que podemos tener confianza en él? I asked the demon possessed man. I said, sir, what is wrong with you? Entonces le pregunto al demoniado qué le pasa. He said, sir, something attacked me several years ago and I can't breathe. Y me dijo, algo me atacó hace unos años y no puedo respirar. And I believe it was a demon. Y yo creo que era el demonio. He says, I can't breathe right now. I can't really breathe. No puedo respirar. Dice, no puedo respirar. I said, sir, do you believe if I pray for you, the demon will have to go? Y yo le pregunté, ¿usted cree que si voy por usted, ese espíritu se tendrá que ir? He said, I believe he will have to go. Y él dijo, yo creo que se va a ir. I said, well, I'm going to rebuke this demon and then we will take care of the blindness. Sometimes you have to get people's faith up a little higher. Now, faith comes by hearing the word of God preached. La fe viene por oír la palabra de Dios Now, we prove that tonight. Hemos demostrado eso esta noche. We have two women right here. Tenemos aquí dos mujeres. Healed, I didn't even pray for these women. Sanas y ni siquiera oramos por ellas. Their faith came up. And they just believed God for their healing. Jesus said, 
Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Jesús dijo, he aquí les doy autoridad y poder para pisar serpientes y escorpiones y sobre todo el poder del enemigo. So who comes to destroy your life? ¿Quién es el que viene a destruir tu vida? Who comes to destroy? ¿Quién viene a destruir? Jesus said, I give you power over the devil. Jesús dijo, le doy poder sobre el demonio. His disciples came back rejoicing. They said, even the demons are subject to us in your name, Lord. Los discípulos volvieron regocijándose diciendo, hasta los demonios se sujetan en tu nombre. I said, sir, do you believe now if I pray for your eyes, they will open? Entonces le dije, ¿usted cree ahora que si yo oro por sus ojos, se van a abrir los ojos? He said, yes. Él dijo, sí. Hallelujah. We serve a great God. Servimos a un Dios grande. Jesus is the same yesterday. También tenemos a ese hombre ahí en el video. How many times did I pray for you, Natasha? ¿Cuántas veces vamos a orar, Natasha? Three, four. Como cuatro veces. He can see. Él podía ver. God opened his eyes. Dios abrió los ojos. He went from blind to being able to see. Él pasó de estar ciego a poder ver. No man can do that. Ni un hombre puede hacer eso. The, the best doctor in the world cannot do that. El mejor doctor del mundo no puede hacer eso. I cannot do that. Yo no puedo hacer eso. Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men to me. Jesús dijo, si yo soy levantado de la tierra, exaltado, voy a traer a todos hacia mí. Now we're living in the last days. Estamos viviendo los últimos días. God has chosen that the gospel would go forward through signs, wonders, and miracles. Dios ha elegido que el evangelio siga adelante por medio de señales, milagros y maravillas. That the lost might believe. Para que los perdidos puedan creer. That there is a supernatural God. Hay un Dios sobrenatural. Listen to me. 
the deaf woman that I prayed for, 23 years old. Aquella mujer sorda por la que oré que tenía 23 años. I was in a Pentecostal church. Yo estaba en una iglesia pentecostés. Maybe, maybe 600 people. Tal vez de 600 gentes presbiterianas. I stopped praying for the sick after I prayed for her. Dejé de orar por los enfermos después de orar por ella. And the Lord spoke to me to give an invitation. Y Dios me dijo que lo hiciera una invitación. I said, if you're here today and your life is not right with God, stand up where you are. Le dije, si la vida de ustedes todos no está correcta delante de Dios, levántese, póngase de pie ahí donde está. Probably one half of the audience stood up. Tal vez la mitad de toda esa gente se puso de pie. I said, no, you didn't, you didn't hear me. Yo le dije, no, usted no me ha oído. This is a Pentecostal church. It's in the Iglesia Pentecostal. I said, I only want the people that their life is not right with God to stand up. Dije, solamente quiero a la gente cuyo corazón, cuya vida no está bien delante de Dios, que se ponga de pie. What are signs for? ¿Para qué son las señales? God will give you a sign. Dios te va a dar una señal. And when God gives you a sign, y cuando Dios te da una señal, you must believe. Que creer. It's the mercy of God. Es la de Dios. Amen. Amen. If He gives you a sign and you still don't believe, si él te da una señal y aún así no crees, then there's no more hope. Entonces, pero no hay esperanza. Yeah. Because God will prove Himself to you. Porque Dios se demuestra, se manifiesta él mismo delante de ti. And if you walk away and you're not changed, y si te vas de ahí y no has cambiado, there's no hope. No hay esperanza. Yeah. Yeah. See, God is calling the whole world. Dios está llamando a todo el mundo ahora mismo. Many people just turn and walk away. Mucha gente nada más da la vuelta y se va. Yeah. Yeah. I told them, I said, no, you didn't understand me. Sit back right down. Le dije, no, ustedes no me han entendido, siéntese. I only yeah. want the people that their life is not right with God to stand up. Solamente quiero a la gente cuya vida no está bien delante de Dios que se ponga de pie. So I want the ones that are not right with God to stand up. Así que son los que no están bien delante de Dios que se pongan de pie. Now everyone stands up. Toda la gente se puso de pie. I looked at the pastor. I said, Pastor, everyone is standing. Pastor, todos se pusieron de pie. He said, we're watching God demonstrate His power. Pastor dijo, estamos viendo que Dios está demostrando su poder. Ya se convirtieron. What would you do if Jesus appeared here? ¿Qué haría usted si Jesús se aparece aquí? Only those that believe see him. Solamente los que creen son los que lo ven. Everyone was crying and weeping. Todos estaban con lágrimas en los ojos. I prayed a prayer of rededication. Hicimos una oración para rededicar la vida de todos aquellos presbiterianos. The power of God was in there to change lives. El poder de Dios estaba ahí 
para cambiar las vidas. I believe that Jesus is here tonight. Yo creo que Jesús está aquí hoy. I said, sir, the same God that delivers you from alcohol will also heal your knee. Yo le dije, dijo Dios que te libra del alcoholismo, te va a sanar la He was completely changed. Completamente cambiado. And he got a new knee. Con una rodilla nueva. And he was jumping on his knee. in Matamoros two weeks ago. Hace dos semanas allá en Matamoros. We did two crusades in Matamoros recently. De recientemente hemos estado dos veces allá. We did a large open air crusade. Una grande al aire libre. And we were sharing today about one of the healings. Hoy estábamos compartiendo acerca de una de esas sanidades. A woman came, she was crippled, she had a stroke. Una mujer que venía, venía porque apenas podía, había tenido un and all of the left side of her body was uh, numb, paralyzed. They helped her up. She could barely, she could walk by dragging her legs. She could barely walk. I said, ma'am, you believe that God can heal you? Yo le pregunté, ¿usted cree que Dios se puede sanar? You believe if I pray that he will heal you? ¿Usted cree que si oramos, usted va a sanar? I don't usually pray for people. Usualmente no oro por la gente. Jesus would just speak the word. Jesús solo decía la palabra. He told one woman in church one day, woman, you are loose from your infirmity. Él le dijo a una mujer en la iglesia un día, mujer, eres libre de tu enfermedad. Says she straightened up and she was completely healed. I told this woman that was paralyzed by a stroke. I said, ma'am, I lose you from your infirmity. Give me your pain. She handed me her cane she was walking with. And I said, now I want you to walk. And she began to walk all by herself. And then she began to run. And then she began to jump. No man can heal. No, I don't think you can 
sanar. This man cannot heal. Este hombre no puede sanar. Wait, wait. These women were healed because Jesus is standing here. Esta mujer sanó porque Jesús está aquí. And it's their faith in his word. Es su fe en la palabra de él. Wait, wait. I laid the woman's cane on her shoulder. I said, you go and give praise to God. Puse el bastón de aquella mujer en el hombro de ella y le dije, vaya, dándole gloria a Dios. She walked off perfectly home. Anybody else need healing? Alguien más necesita salud. If no one else. Si no hay nada más, ¿qué te pasa a ti? Gloria a Dios, aleluya. Your food. Huh? Pain in your food. There's pain in your foot. Do you believe if I command the pain to go, it will go? I lose that pain from you in Jesus' name. Now I want you to walk. Tell her I lose that pain from her in Jesus' name. I command the pain to go. Now walk for me. Camina. Tell me when the pain goes. Now I want you to run a little bit. Now I want you to run a little bit. Tell me when the pain goes. Now I want you to run a little bit. When she started walking, the pain. When she started walking, the pain. Pray that God use you for His glory. What's your name? Voy a orar que Dios te use para su gloria. ¿Cómo te llamas? Leslie. Leslie, you love Jesus, Leslie. Amas a Jesús. Father, I pray that you just use Leslie for your glory tonight. Te pido que uses a Leslie para tu gloria. Lord, just watch over her and keep her. Señor, cuídala. Keep her from the world. Manténla lejos del mundo. In Jesus' name. Hey, you go get praise to God, okay? Hallelujah! You've seen the demonstration of God's power. Ha visto usted una demostración del poder de Dios? I see hundreds and thousands of miracles. He visto cientos y miles de milagros. I am a witness of his power. Soy testigo de su poder. Dios, aleluya. If you are here tonight and you say my life is not right with God, usted que está aquí puede decir mi vida no está bien delante de Dios. I'm going to have you stand up. Me voy a pedir que se ponga de pie. Al que dicen que su vida no está bien delante de Dios, you are seeing the demonstration of God's power. Ha visto usted la demostración del poder de Dios. Children, be very quiet and very still. Niño, por favor, calladitos, sentaditos. You are in the presence. You are in the presence of the Lord. Está en la presencia de Dios. He's here. Él está aquí. Children is right here. Cuando él está aquí, cuando no esté aquí, haga lo que usted quiera. And if Jesus is here, what you gonna do? Si Dios está aquí, ¿qué es lo que vas a hacer? What you gonna do? She said I would fall down and worship him. Ella dijo yo lo adoraría. I was telling you the story. I was in Veracruz and I asked a lady. Me decía. What would you do if you saw Jesus here? Que le pregunté a la mujer en Veracruz qué haría si Jesús se presenta aquí. She said, I would fall down and worship. Ella dijo, yo caería de rodillas y lo adoraría. I said, watch me. Yo dije, observe me. I'm going to prove to you that he's here. Te voy a demostrar que él está aquí. I called two women that have been paying. Llamé a dos mujeres que estaban 
con mucho dolor. One in much pain with arthritis. Una tenía artritis y tenía mucho dolor. The other woman, they were, the doctors were going to have she was crippled in her leg. La otra mujer no podía mover su pierna. The doctors were going to have to operate, said she would never walk properly. I had them to come up they, to, be, to be prayed for. I grabbed them both by the hand. I said, now I loose you from your infirmity in Jesus' name. Le dije, mujer, la dejo libre de la enfermedad en el nombre de Jesús. I didn't even pray. Ni siquiera oré. Because the power is not from me. Porque el poder no es de mí. The centurion said, Lord, speak the word only and my servant will live. El centurion dijo, Señor, solamente di la, la palabra de mi siervo sanará. I grabbed the first one by the hand and I said, woman, I lose you from this arthritis. I said, move your hands. She said, the arthritis is gone. She said, no more pain. Jesus, Jesus is the healer. The other woman that had the leg that crippled in her la, la otra mujer enferma de la pierna. I said, woman, I lose you from this infirmity. And the woman, she began to walk and jump and run. Y la mujer comenzó a caminar, brincar, correr. I asked the woman on the other row, I said, did you see that? Le pregunté, ¿vieron eso? I said, what are you going to do now? ¿Qué va a hacer ahora? She ran to the front, fell on the floor, and began to cry and weep. Aquella mujer que dijo yo adoraría, corrió al altar, cayó de rodillas, comenzó a llorar, clamaba a Dios. Venga, por favor. What's your name, sir? ¿Cómo se llama usted? Huh? Jesús. Huh? Oh, that's Jesus. His name is Jesus. Jesus. A name like Jesus. How long have you been saved? Sir, God has delivered you from a lot of things. Dios lo está haciendo libre de muchas cosas. This woman prayed for you. Esta mujer ora por usted. It's God's grace. Es la gracia de Dios. You should be dead. You should be destroyed. Usted debería de estar muerto o destruido. But it's His grace. Pero es la gracia de Dios. After I speak this word over you. Después que yo le hable esta palabra, you will never be the same. Usted no va a ser el mismo. Now you're going to go from being an angry man to a man filled with joy. Usted va a pasar de ser una persona con mucho enojo a ser una persona con mucho gozo. You're going to be totally delivered. Totalmente libre. From the addictions and things you battle. De las adicciones y de las cosas que las que usted ha luchado. You will never be the same after the time. Después de esta noche usted va a ser la misma. If you try to go out and drink or something like that, you would just get very sick. Si usted trata de volver a lo mismo, solamente va a enfermarse. And your family, God's going to do work in your family. Y Dios va a hacer una obra en su familia. Because you're going to be a witness to them. Porque usted va a ser testigo para ellos. You're going to get rid of all the unforgiveness and all the anger. Se va a liberar de toda la falta de perdón y de todo el coraje. And it doesn't matter what anybody's done to you. Y no importa lo que le hayan hecho. You're going to forgive. 
te va a perdonar. God's going to heal your marriage. Dios va a sanar su matrimonio. Do I see a couple of children? You have a couple of children. Usted tiene cuántos hijos tiene? Uno y uno. So you have two children? Two children. Tengo dos. So now God is going to work a miracle. Dios va a hacer un milagro. In your marriage? En su matrimonio. Now, sir, she's been praying. Ella ha estado orando. I don't know you. I've never met you. No nos conocemos. Yo nunca lo había visto. If I'm saying something wrong, you tell me. Si estoy diciendo algo que está equivocado, dígame. Yeah. Oh. Okay, on the previous marriage, he, he has a girl. And with her, they have a boy. So you have two children. I see her praying for another. She wants another. Yo veo que ella está orando por otro. Ella desea otro. Now, see, Jesus is going to make you a witness. Jesús lo va a convertir en testigo. But he's delivering you from the crazy. Pero nos está liberando de la vida loca. Everybody believe God with me? Todos creen Dios conmigo. I I don't know this man. I've never been to this church. Yo no conozco a esta persona. Yo nunca he estado en esta iglesia. Now, if you will believe, you will see God in His power. Si usted lo cree, usted va a ver que Dios le muestra su poder. Now, you're gonna know the love of God, sir. Te va a conocer el amor de Dios. Only love changes people's lives. Solo el amor cambia la vida de la gente. And God is love. Dios es amor. To know God is to know love. Conocer a Dios es conocer el amor. But your past, you never knew love. Pero en el pasado usted nunca conoció el amor. But you will tonight. Pero usted lo va a empezar. Y va a conocer el amor. Aleluya. Dios, Dios, aleluya. I am going to rebuke Satan over you. Voy a reprender a Satanás de la vida de usted. And you're never going to be the same again. Y no va a ser el mismo otra vez. Do you believe what I'm saying? ¿Usted cree lo que estoy diciendo? You see, you're ready to be free. You're ready to be free. Usted está listo para ser libre. You've known so much torment in your life. Ha conocido demasiado tormento, demasiado castigo en su vida. So the same bad people that you ran with, you're going to be a witness to. La misma gente con la que usted salía, usted lo va a ser castigo para ellos. They're going to laugh at you. Se van a reír. They're going to make fun of you. Se van a divertir con usted. But you're going to have the love of God in you. Pero usted va a ser el amor de Dios. And you're going to pray for them. Y van a orar por ellos. And you're going to preach on the streets. Y en la calle usted va a predicar. You don't have to have education to preach. Para predicar no no se necesita tener una gran educación. You just have to obey God. Solo hay que obedecer a Dios. You want to love your wife. Usted va a amar a su esposa. And you're going to be nice and kind. Y va a ser muy amable. Amen. I want you to hold hands. Quiero que se tomen de la mano. No, excuse me, I just had to stop and do this, okay? Disculpe, pero tengo que hacer esto. Pastor, is this okay? ¿Está bien esto, Pastor? It's okay. Is this okay? ¿Está bien? Amen. Father, in Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. I lift this couple up to you. Te presento a esta pareja. Satan has tried to destroy their lives. Satanás ha tratado de destruir sus vidas. But you came to save that which was lost. Pero tú viniste, Señor, a salvar lo que había perdido. So demonstrate your power tonight. Así que demuestra tu poder esta noche. In these lives. En estas vidas. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Satan, I command you to lose your hold from this man's life. Satanás, te ordeno suelta la vida de este hombre. Set him free. 
Déjalo libre. From this moment on, desde este momento, in Jesus name, en el nombre de Jesús. Now, Jesús, you're going to know Jesús like you never have known Jesús. Jesús, usted va a conocer a Jesús como no lo había conocido. And you're going to be a witness of his power. Usted va a ser testigo de su poder. You're going to be a broken and a humble man. Usted va a ser un hombre quebrantado y humilde. And everybody's going to see it. Y toda, toda la gente lo va a ver. And know that Jesus has touched you. Y, se, y sabrán que Jesús va a tocar. Pero no se olvida. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. I want you to kneel right there. I want you to kneel right there together. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. If you would like to rededicate your life to Jesus, just come right here. Si quiere rededicar su vida a Cristo, por favor llene este espacio. Just come right here. I am not here for money tonight. Yo no vine aquí por dinero. I will not take your money. Así que no voy a aceptar dinero. I am here to see God touch people's lives. Vine a ver que Dios toca la vida de la gente. I'm here to encourage you, Pastor. Estoy aquí para animar a su pastor. That the congregation might be built up. Para que la congregación sea edificada. Now, raise your hand to Jesus. Levanten sus manos a Cristo. Say Jesus changed my life. Y diga de Jesús, Jesús cambia mi vida. I want to rededicate my life to you, Jesus. Quiero rededicar mi vida a ti, Jesús. I need your touch, Jesus. Quiero que me toques. I yield myself to you. Me entrego a ti. Use me for your glory. Úsame para tu gloria. I consecrate myself to you, Lord. Me consagro a ti, Señor. I pray that you empower me with your Holy Spirit. Te pido que me des poder de tu Espíritu Santo. That I will be a witness. Que yo sea testigo. Now I want you to call and cry out to him on your own self right now. Just call him. Say, Lord, fill me with your spirit. He always answers those that cry out to him. If you want to kneel down at the altar, you may. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Lord, my life forever. Lord, change my life forever. Thank you. 